that's true of everything. I mean, if people are, it, it, well, take say, take say the lottery. I don't know if Wisconsin has a state lottery, but a lot of states do. Uh, the lottery is a highly regressive tax. Uh, you, it's, I, I don't know the, I've never, I don't know the figures here, but I'm sure they're the same as everywhere. In Massachusetts, it's been pretty well studied. Uh, it's a very highly regressive tax. You take the towns in Massachusetts and you ask how much money people spend in the state lottery. It's predictable by level of education and income. The lower the education and income, the more they spend on the lottery. I mean, like in the town where I live, nobody would waste a cent on the lottery. I mean, it's just, a, I mean, it's, it's like giving your money away, you know. That's what the state lottery is. Uh, poor and uneducated people do it. You go to a town where the average per capita income is maybe ten thousand uh, dollars. They may be spending a couple of thousand dollars per family on the lottery. So what it amounts to is a highly regressive tax. That's why it's pushed so hard. Like there's a ton of advertising for it. I don't know here, but in Massachusetts, it's very heavily advertised and all kind of wonderful gifts about you're going to get $5 million and this and that and the other thing, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the reason is because it's a terrific way to soak the poor, you know. Uh, you want to, now, should you illegal, make it illegal? Well, I mean, I don't think it should be legal to advertise it, frankly, any more than I think you should allow uh, ads for cocaine up in the, you know, on, on television. But I don't think you should criminalize it either. What I think you ought to do is exactly what's done in every sector of educated people, make, get people immediately to understand that you're throwing your money away. You know, if you want to throw your money away, throw it in the ocean, you know. Uh, uh, and when people understand that, there's not going to be any lottery any more than there is in the town where I live. They couldn't sell a lottery ticket there if they tried, you know. Uh, and, uh, uh, and I think the same is true of every, uh, of every form of uh, way of harming yourself, whether it's driving fast or uh, you know, like wearing a seat belt or, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, what's that stuff where you jump off a mountain holding a rope? Yeah, okay, <laughs> that kind of stuff or, you know, anything. I mean, if there are people who want to experience danger, okay, they ought to be allowed to do it. Uh, on the other hand, uh, it should be a rational decision, something that people are in a position to make a reasonable decision about, and that requires understanding and education and recognition of the consequences and so on and so forth. I mean, that's the answer to drugs. I think the answer at the point, it's overwhelmingly true. It is also true, as Alex Coburn pointed out in that column, that alcohol use did decline during Prohibition. But, uh, uh, you know, that's, uh, you, could, uh, you could get uh, consumption of uh, milk to decline by criminalizing. Not a good idea.